What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you guys a brand new lobby bot that um, was just created by one of the people on our server. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use it and how to invite it to your server and how to use it within our server. So quick thing before we do that, last week our Discord server was nuked and we lost about 50,000 people. So if you want to rejoin, the link is in the description. We've already gotten about 5,000 people in the previous five days after it's been nuked. So it's growing pretty quickly, but if you were in the server before, feel free to rejoin with the link in the description. So before I do that, make sure you guys subscribe as well as we are super close to 35,000 subscribers. And as I've said in previous videos, uh, we're gonna be doing a V-Bucks giveaway, 1,000 V-Bucks giveaway, whenever we hit 35,000 subscribers. And let's try to hit that before the end of the season. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button and let's get a like goal of 250 likes on this video. Let's see if we can hit that. And yeah, let's get into the video. So the first step, to get this new bot is to join our discord server and as i said before we're trying to grow back to our previous 67,000 people right now we have 12,000. so the entire server has been redone as well so hopefully it's better than last time if not the same and yeah so just join that link will be in the description as usual and once you're again to here just go down to bot creator and you're just gonna click on create sway so if you want to join their server the server link is right over here and i'll be posting the commands as well in the description and they will be posting a bot invite link as well if you want to invite their bot to your own server so that you can invite um bots in your own server um they'll be posting that link here as well so the first step if you want to just stick in our server and try to use this bot is to do exclamation point start bot and then once you've done that the bot will send you a dm and it'll say it'll get you a new bot but i already have a bot started so i do not need to do that so once you get this bot um if you're on pc or mobile just copy this link if you are on xbox ps4 any sort of console um just type this in to your friends so you're going to go up here and you're going to type this into your friends and then you're just going to add it as a friend and it should add you back as well So there we go, it's your friend now. And we're just gonna scroll over to where it is. Here it is, it's on the top since seven. And you're just gonna invite it to your party. And you cannot invite it to your party, so you're gonna do join, and that's gonna let you join the party. So you're gonna say Atomic XYZ, which is my um, epic name. So it says that my party's private, so I'm just gonna make it public for a second, and we're going to have the bot join us. So now I'll be able to join me because I am public and there we go, it has joined my party as you can see right over here. So all the commands for this bot will be through Discord. So it has all the commands over here, most of them are self-explanatory, they're pretty similar to the previous commands and all the other lobby bots we've been using. So the first command is going to be the skin command. So if you go like this and you do skin, you can do any skin you want just like all the other lobby bots and of course emotes, backpacks, all that stuff. So one of the really important things though, before you do all this is to do the set owner command. So once you've done that, it will make it a lot easier as you will be the owner of the bot. So we're just gonna do set owner, set owner. And now the owner is me, so I will get this bot whenever I do the command. So another really cool thing about this bot is that you can have these different commands about sitting in, sitting out, and being in game. So if you want it to seem like you're actually in the game, there's values over here for how for the um, value that displays when it says in game. So we're just gonna do like value four or something, and then once you've done that, it'll say that you're in a game with four other players. So it'll say four remaining. So now it looks like you're in a game, and then if you ever want to get it back to the um, like back into your lobby, um, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna type in restart. Oh, it doesn't really matter if you get a typo. So yeah, there you go, it'll restart and then you can just invite it again. And there you go, it's back into your party. And then of course, once they're inside your party, you can make it private if you don't want other people to join. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the skin commands and the emotes commands. So we're going to do skin and we're going to do a skin. So we can do, it already has Renegade Raider, so you can do things like Black Knight. You could do other things like we could do the Mandalorian. So if you go to the Battle Pass, you can check out, get any Battle Pass skin you want. 
So of course we have the Mandalorian here. So we can go back in here, Mandalorian, and it'll become the Mandalorian. So you guys can see I have the Mandalorian in my lobby. And then of course you can change the level to make it more believable that this is actually a real bot or a real player. So we're gonna go level. And it really doesn't matter if you do these in uppercase as well, you can do lowercase level. So it shouldn't really change anything. So you just change the level, it'll change the level to whatever level you choose. So yeah, right now we have a level nine Mandalorian in our lobby. And you can also change the backpacks, just like in all the other bots. So if we go into here, uh, we can just choose some sort of backpack from the battle pass. I think there is a baby Yoda backpack. I've not gotten there yet. So we're going to check that out. And it should be around, here it is, level 100. So it's called the child, just like in the show. So we're going to do backpack the child. And looks like you cannot use this one as a backpack. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I think it's a pet or something. So let's choose an actual backpack. Let's choose this one. It's called Shield of the Mighty. So. Cannot spell. Change this to Mighty. There you go. And now it'll change this to the Shield of the Mighty. Uh, you will not be able to see it because of the Mandalorian's cape, but if you had some sort of other skin, you'd actually be able to see it. And now you can also do the emotes, of course, just like with all the other bots. So if we go up here, we can use the emotes. And let's choose, we have to decide on emote. So we're gonna do emotes. Let's see what emotes I have. We can do laugh it up. That's a pretty good emote. And there we go, it's doing the laugh it up emote. And there we go, now you can see the back bling is actually on him. So, the next thing that you can do is you can um, change the styles, which is what a lot of people were asking about in other videos. Just like with all the other lobby bots, you can change the styles. So, if you just say the styles and then the skin, you can just change the styles. Okay, so you can just type in styles and then skin and then the name of the skin. So, then your thing will say something like this, it'll have all of these skin variants, and since the Mandalorian has so many different variants for his skins, there's obviously going to be a bunch of them, and this will be 18. So once you've done this, you can just type in the number for the variant, so we're going to go with the 14 Beskar, just type that, it will change it to the 14 Beskar, and you can't really tell with the Mandalorian because there's so many things you can customize, but you can sort of tell that one of his plates is going to be Beskar and then if you just change it again so then if you want to change it again you're just going to copy this and do the exact same thing again so just go like this and then we're going to type in 18 and now it'll add whatever the other Beskar piece of armor it was so I'm going to show you guys a better one because on the Mandalorian it's hard to see this style change so we're going to do a new skin which is the uh, Skull Trooper and then we can change, this one only has three variants, so we'll just do Styles, Skin, Skull Trooper. And then we can just change it to whichever one. So obviously you probably want the purple glow, so we're going to change it to purple glow. And then if we go back into Fortnite, you can see that he is the purple glow. So there's a few other commands that I can show you guys, including the promote. So that one's pretty self explanatory as well. So if you just do promote and then your epic name, um, it will just promote you to the party leader, but I'm already the party leader, so that doesn't really change anything But if you were to join their party instead of inviting them You could just do promote and that's another way to get yourself to be the party leader and make it private So yeah, there's a couple other things including the sit out sit in this just makes you um, Look like you're sitting out sitting in if you don't know what that looks like. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys the sit out And it looks like this it just says you're sitting out Pretty simple and then sit in. I'm not sure why anybody would want to use these commands but they're there if you want to use them. And then there is the banner. So this one you have to find the exact banner ID because the names don't always work but you can try using the names if you want. I don't know any banner names so I'm just gonna look up some of the IDs or the names. So apparently there is one called the arrow, so I'm just going to be using that one because just as an example, because there's nothing really else that I know of. So it should change it. I'm not sure 
um, if it actually did end up changing it. But if you find a banner that you want, like the Epic Games banner, you can also use that if you can find the ID. So there's not much else that you can do with this. I mean, it's pretty pretty robust um, Lollibot, but that's pretty much all you can do. Uh, they'll be adding some new features in the future as well. Um, just join their server if you want the most up-to-date things. So if you want to join the server, it's right over here. Um, you can join the server. They have a bunch of different things, and they tell you whenever the status of the bot is up. Um, maybe eventually we'll be implementing the announcements into this channel so you guys can also see them within our server as well. And I'll be putting this commands link in the description. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you've not already, please leave a like. It would really help us a lot to get other people to see this video. And we'll see you guys in another one.